chat. Everyone in chat right now. I want to make something very clear to you all. Uh, I don't, I'm not doing this for any type of monetary profit. In reality, this all came about because of this beautiful Twitch community and Discord community we have cultivated over the last several months. And, uh, and, and I just want to tell you exactly what happens with these videos. The monetary gain from YouTube the ad revenue goes directly towards the record companies and the, and the bands, which I am more than happy to help with. Um, so if you essentially by liking the video and sharing it with your friends, you are contributing towards the band's uh, success. And so I, I'm very proud to be a part of that. And if you wanted to support the YouTube channel, uh, you can subscribe and uh, stay up to date with other videos. And eventually maybe I'll, I'll do some different kinds of content, but I'm, I'm very happy to see the reception of some very intelligent musical people coming together. So without further ado, uh, we're going to do some reactions and we're going to listen to some more music. Hi, everyone. This next song we're going to be listening to is Arion, The Day That the World Breaks Down, from The Source, 2017. Let's get into it, shall we? Have a good night, Aberantian. Uh, Aberrant. Mike Mills will do. A silence so deafening. Really? As the stillness so it's kind of like every. So these are metal vocalists from all over the world placed together by one guy. And then, so it's basically like any performance between March 2020 and the present <laughs> that's happened. I jest, but like, that's really, really cool. A rush of fear is surging through our veins. This is like an opera. The adventure starts in the far distant past on a planet called Alpha in the Andromeda Galaxy. Darkens Alpha. Our Alpha is inhabited by our human ancestors. Horizon. Computers have surpassed human intelligence and have shut down all support systems. What have we done? Is this the When death descends
Oh, this is sick. Who posted this? Men's 400? You haven't even been chatting. Damn, thank you for suggesting this. Oh, I'm going back. Look at these vocals. Ugh. This is real long full chord conduction, full chord occlusion, full chest belt. Men's, thank you. Yeah. I like David Bowie. Why not? Yeah, it's nice. Simone's back. We heard Simone earlier tonight. So one of the things that makes Tommy's singing so thrilling is his ability to open up the mask and still maintain a really low chesty vocal position. And, and the only way he can do that, again, is by supporting properly with the air and using his body while he sings. But notice how he exposes his top teeth. That is the opening of the mask resonance that gives us that bright consistency. But he doesn't let his larynx travel up, even though he's putting a lot of subglottal pressure. The glottis is the space between the vocal cords. He's applying a lot of subglottal pressure there. But the control is all through the amount of air. So that's why he's also able to do those runs so easily is because there, the air and the pressure is already there. He doesn't need to do any effort to move the pitch. All he needs to do is just loosen up a little bit. And while he loosens up, it's just going to go down. Ah! It's just it just goes naturally if you will if you supply the air the voice will move on its own You don't need to consciously pick each note That's why those runs are so thrilling and they're they're uniform. They sound consistent everything in his range is right there I love to hear this very 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 good singing Guys, not while the music's going. Come on. <laughs> I, it's hilarious. But this is good singing. That dude trying to sell you a book on onsets is bad singing. And bad teaching, for that matter. You can't learn from a book. If anyone convince, tries to convince you you can learn singing from a book, they're wrong. Just singing.
would happen Not many believed in my cause I'm sure they will all I love that like vibrato in that high belt position. I I mean I can't even make that sound, but it's it's when he said cause, right? Oh, it's so nice. It reminds me of a streamer named Jory Avner. Jory Avner music. Go look him up. He has a very similar sound. <laughs> It does make you think of Maiden. I, I agree. Knew this would happen. Not Tobias. Many believed in my cause. I'm sure they will all turn to me now. I'm sure I am the only one. Who can save Don't save up 50,000, please. He does sound like a cocky captain. This is so dope. So this is like, uh, this is like greatest metal musicians all in one place. It's like if you want to introduce someone to symphonic metal, I guess this is prog rock, but this is like symphonic metal. This is like the full house of symphonic metal. <laughs> it's just the introduction, okay. Why do I know his voice? Why do I know his voice? Blind Guardian? Blind Guardian. Called it! Called it! You guys are educating me. You guys are educating me. There we go. Let's listen back. Watch when he sings again, how closed his mouth is. All this sound is being created inside, and having a closed mouth is, is allowing him to keep his larynx down. If you open your mouth wide, you pull up everything here. Pull up everything here, and having a closed mouth allows his jaw to stay relaxed and back. Mm, mm, mm. I know that sounds really weird, but that's the start of that kind of relaxed sound. Do it, Fry.
that was the lowest note. Wow, dude. That dude's got a range. That guy's got a range. Mike. Let's bring it. Maybe it wasn't that high. <laughs> Oh, he was a robot. That's cool. I love it. He says, and now the bluesy part can be expected in any prog music. So the reason, yeah, I was about to say Billy Ray Cyrus, except good. He looks like him, and he kind of sounds like him, but he has a really nice sound. The reason I said it, this guy smokes cigarettes is because he's a really, he does a really good job of using vocal affect in his sound. Vocal affect is, or, or vocal disability is another way of putting it, but it's a way to express, like, a, a damaged humanity, right? This guy is playing the president. I'm sure he's a corrupt president, and... And we are we are hearing the corruptness. We're feeling the the grittiness in the sound through the vocal affect, which is is an idea of hearing vocal damage and then that somehow projecting the character of someone. Um, it's super cool. It's a, and it's a really artful job. The guy put this together. The guy who composed this did a really amazing job casting for timbre to timbre to character. Wonderful. Now we have the compelling and heroic sounding diplomat, right? This is not over, as a Good to know, Eclipse. Looking forward to that one. No peace. We're back to the bluesy part. Just corruption. You guys see how music works and how cool that is? It tells you what's happening. It gives you the story without any words. And yes, we got ourselves to blame. I guess it seems right in the mind of Koshi. I'll fix every flaw, I'll break every law, I'll tear up the rule book. If that's what it takes, you will see.
Wait, Eclipse, can you explain that a little bit more to me? <laughs> this is a cool, I mean, the story is well, it's a well thought, if it's a well, it has to have several layers, here we go. If the musical story, this is an opera, okay, I'm, this is just an opera, I'm just gonna call it that, that's because it has a story that's well written, right? The story is compelling in its own. And then you need music that also tells the story, right? And then you need text that is separate from the story. You know, the story was written, I'm sure. And then someone had to write dialogue for these people to sing. That had to be compelling as well. And then you have to have the voices and the music that tells the story. And that is what you get when you create an opera like this. This prog rock opera, right? And so far, it's incredibly well executed and incredibly descriptive in all of the dimensions of it. Love it. That's good. hate practicing. I don't think there's anyone who loves practicing, right? But you practice so you can do this kind of thing, right? Dude, why? Like, <laughs> she's so good, man. She's so good. She's the biologist. She's the savior of humanity against against the uh, against the alien against the robots, right? The robots. Um, and who better to be our our savior than Flor Janssen, right? Oh man, let's listen to that again. Who better? I love how he just like, he's also like, I wouldn't want you to miss who's next. She's just singing into a fucking- Save us! She already has a whole army. She doesn't need, doesn't need to do much, really. Dude, she can, that tone comes all from the space she gives the sound. It's loose, it's big. You know, think about an outdoor amphitheater, right? Think about how in an outdoor amphitheater that, like, maybe you'll go to an outdoor concert, whatever. The amphitheater or the stage, whatever, especially if it's like an orchestra or something acoustic, you always get that shell, right? That shell, what that does is it basically projects the sound further. It's, it's amplification through design. It's architectural amp amplification. That's what she's doing with her mouth. That's why she opens it so much. The inside space as well. That takes the sound and just lets it vibrate so much more off of her mouth. People who don't create space in their mouth lack a lot of vocal color. I think for, for like growling and stuff, you don't need the color as much. And so you close it down to create the Right? But when you're doing clean vocals, any type of operatic resonant singing, any type of, I say operatic, that's how I do it, but any type of resonant singing, you want to create as much, you want to create as much space in your mouth as possible because then the sound sounds pretty. It sounds beautiful, especially if you can do that while staying relaxed. And that is where the difficulty comes in. Anyway, mantra.
I loved that. The Source. Well, I'm looking forward to getting that LP and just listening to it on vinyl. That would be a lot of fun. Create space in your mouth. Makes you want to yawn. Fry. Fry. That's good. I, I say it all the time to people. The easiest way to find the right healthy position for singing is by yawning. When you yawn, your body naturally takes a full breath and your body naturally relaxes the larynx. The yawn is absolutely the key. It also shows you the space. If you can just practice singing through experimenting with yawns, oh, that's what singing feels like. That is, that is the ultimate spot for healthy, like the building blocks of singing. If, when you're yawning, the building blocks of singing are all there. I love it. Dude, Arian Live would be amazing.